I love growing zinnias because they're one of the few flowers that produce well and flower all summer long in my high desert location in Southern California. The problem is I'm not the only one that loves zinnias. So does powdery mildew. This is a fungus that grows on the leaves in early and late spring. Now, once the temperatures get above 90 degrees, this quits spreading, so the new growth will uh, be healthy. But it, the, the stuff that's already grown stays on all summer long, unless you get rid of it. And it's bad because it saps energy from the plants and makes them look bad and eventually can kill them. I got to wondering what is the best way to eliminate powdery mildew, so I decided to try three different solutions and see which worked the best. The first thing I tested was uh, Draconil. This is a broad spectrum antifungicide. The second was a 10% solution of milk in uh, water, which is reported to be quite effective. And the third was one tablespoon of baking soda, three tablespoons of regular oil, kitchen oil, and one half teaspoon of um, dish soap to act as an emulsifier so that the oil will mix in with the water. This has re, uh, had several rave reviews as far as getting rid of powdery mildew. So let's take a look at the plants. I sprayed them with these uh, preparations uh, 24 hours ago and uh, in a large section and each section had the same level of infestation. So let's see how they look now. Here are the typical results I got out of the Draconil. Now, the uh, powdery mildew has been reduced, but there are still large areas that have been left white and still look infected. So, I was surprised that a strong chemical like this didn't have a better reaction. Let's look at how the milk did. And here it is. The 10% milk actually looks to be about 50% better than the Draconil, which is nice because it's organic and it's a lot cheaper and uh, readily available. There are still quite a few spots though where there's a lot of powdery mildew left. Oh, and by the way, in each test, I saturated both the tops and the bottoms of the leaves until they were dripping with the solution. And finally here we have the baking soda, oil, and uh, dish soap solution and is by far the best. There isn't a single spot of powdery mildew left on this. Completely clean, 100%. Many times better than either the milk or the Draconil. So for me, this is the solution I'm going to do. Now, the key to controlling powdery mildew is not to treat it after the plant is seriously infected but to start treatment in early spring once the plants are up and growing well to keep on top of it before it can weaken the plant. If you do that, you'll not only uh, prevent the uh, um, powdery mildew from starting, but you'll have much better looking plants. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.